WBUR Podcasts, Boston. I'm Daryl C. Murphy, and you're listening to The Common. We made it through the holidays. Hallelujah and Happy New Year. And for us, it's a happy new month because WBUR Assistant Director of City Space, Candace Springer, is back with things to do for January. Candace, how's it going? Woo! Happy New Year! <laughs> happy New Year, indeed. Indeed. How was your holiday? It was really good, but you know what? I'm glad. It's the new year. We survived our families. We survived traveling and all of the stuff that comes with the holidays. So it's good to be starting fresh in 2023. 100%. I'm with you. And with that, let's get into what you got for us this month. Yes. So, you know, this is the time of year when we make our resolutions and we tend to get serious about our goals, right? New year, new me. Exactly. And so, you know, whether it's working on our fitness or making that paper, like we're really just double down and focused. But Mm -hmm. all of my picks this time are just to remind all of us that we need to eject a little fun into our lives, right? It's so important. So there have been a ton of interactive experiential bars that have been popping up in the city, and I think we all need to go. Okay. So you ready for the first one? Absolutely. Hit me. It's called A4Cade. A4Cade. Have you heard of that? I have not, but I hear Cade. I I have Mm. an idea of where we're Mm -hmm. going. So it opened in 2017 in Central Square in Cambridge, and it is a speakeasy style arcade bar. Mm. So think like old school video games mixed with drinks and food and good vibes. So I like this. Yes. This is a partnership, this place with Roxy's Grilled Cheese, which is a local food truck in the city. And they also have a brick and mortar space in Alston and Area 4, which is a restaurant in Cambridge known for their pizza. And so they combine forces to create this new spot that is just for adults. It's 21 plus. And it's got everything from Pac-Man to PlayStation, Xbox, pinball. I mean, the last time I was here, I definitely spent hours at the Mortal Kombat game. I mean... You nice on Mortal Kombat? (laughs) I love Mortal Kombat. (laughs) Who's your favorite character? Uh, Your fighter? You know what? I'm a Sonya Blade fan. Okay. I respect it. How about you? I think I might be a Scorpion guy or Raiden. Raiden wins. You and I should probably go here and battle. (laughs) I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's do it. So, yeah, it's a super fun spot. There's something for everybody. And the best part is the food and drinks hit, right? Like, you know, you're definitely getting that grilled cheese. Obviously, Roxy's is integrating that. There's also burgers and appetizers. All the cocktails are, like, oozing with pop culture. They've got really fun names. And there's lots of beers, too. I think this is a place that people will definitely have a blast. Mm, That makes a lot of sense. I I would imagine a place like that has a lot of beers so that people can have multiple drinks without getting too blasted to enjoy the video games. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. And then you roll out in the wee hours and you're like, what just happened? (laughs) (laughs) A4Cade, I'm making a note. What we got next? Okay. So maybe video games aren't your style, but you do like games. I have another suggestion for people who might need like a little bit of a, you know, slower vibe, a slower speed. And this place is called... Tavern of Tales. Hmm. It opened in 2019 and it's located in Mission Hill, right near the Roxbury Crossing T stop. So, you know, it's very accessible by Ooh, team. Okay. And this is a board game bar. So it's not video games, it's board games, but they feature two different gaming experiences. So you can go in, you can grab a game like Uno or Jenga or Settlers of Catan, and you can just play. Like in their open area with your friends, by yourself, whatever you like. Or you can do the other option. Make a reservation for a private room with their game master. What? Yes, this is a thing. How do I become a game master? (laughs) Well, a game master essentially is a person who knows every single rule about the game. They know the ins and outs of these 
like seven premium board games that Tavern of Tales offers. And they actually will walk you through the whole game in an interactive, immersive experience. And this is no joke. Like literally, these games have sound effects. Ooh, man. Super, super cool. The owner of this place, Nick Chen, he's actually a Boston University alum, and he's a sound designer by trade, and he created this game bar. It's, like, amazing. So you can, like, either book a reservation for yourself and just, you know, play the game with some strangers, or you can go with the whole, you know, crew, your friends or your family and have a good time. And the good news about this one is it is actually open to everybody of all ages. But if you're under 18, you do need to be accompanied by an adult. And it actually turns into 21 plus after 7 p.m. So if you're looking for that adult vibe, you maybe want to wait until later on in the evening. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more from Candice. Politics has never been stranger or more online, which is why the politics team at Wired is making a new show, Wired Politics Lab. It's all about how to navigate the endless stream of news and information and what to look out for. Each week on the show, we'll dig into far-right platforms, AI chatbots, influencer campaigns, and so much more. Wired Politics Lab launches Thursday, April 11th. Follow the show wherever you get your podcasts. And we're back. These two spaces that you suggested, I like that they're very inclusive in, because they have games and stuff that people who don't drink can enjoy. You don't have to feel pressure to, you know, I have to buy a beer or I have to buy, you know, some kind of thing that I really don't want or really can't have, right? Exactly. You can still enjoy some games, some pizza, some other things, you know. I like that. That's really nice. Yeah, and Tavern of Tales is just like A4Cade. They've got everything from pastries and coffee to sandwiches and cocktails. Oh. I mean, it is complete with all the food you need. And that's why I love these spaces that are popping up because they're all inclusive. You don't need to leave. You've got your food. You've got your drinks. You've got your games. You've got your friends. You've got your family. It's all there in one spot. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that. It seems like some of these bar owners behind these spaces, they get that people don't just want to sit in a room and just drink all day. They want to do stuff, you know, Mm -hmm. and, and have fun. And what's a better way, you know, after the two years we've had of this pandemic, having to be isolated from each other, to kind of reacclimate to being social yes. than just being in a place together playing games. Totally. And meeting new people, maybe. Maybe you're new here. Yeah. Maybe you need to meet friends. Like, it's the perfect opportunity, yeah. for sure. I remember I went to a dive bar when I first moved to Philadelphia and I had such a fun night just playing Trivial Pursuit mm, mm-hmm. with, uh, yeah. with two people who I had I didn't know them. They didn't know me, but we were all sitting down just playing this game, drinking beers, having a good time. So these sound like great places to visit. And um, I'm looking forward to the third. What else you got? All right. Prepare yourself for this one. Okay. Opened in 2022 in the summertime. And it's over in the Ironworks Development Area in South Boston. It's called PKL Boston. And what they specialize in is pickleball. What exactly is pickleball? That's what I asked the first time I (laughs) had heard the phrase pickleball. (laughs) Let me tell you, something happened this summer where everyone I was talking to mentioned pickleball. So pickleball, from what I understand, is a combination of ping pong, tennis, and badminton. So you've got a small ball, you've got a large Uh court, and a larger size paddle than you normally have in ping pong. And PKL has turned this into an insane experience. It's 22,000 square feet, this place. That's huge. Exactly. It's massive. And they've got multiple courts where you can either come and join a tournament or book it with your friends again to play this game. They even have coaches on hand. So if you're a beginner, you can learn all of the rules of pickleball 
But if you don't like pickleball, if you just want to go and see what it's all about, they've got a whole restaurant, two bars, lounge areas, and they've got a cornhole court and shuffleboard. That is a lot happening in one spot. I'm into that. That sounds like a, an adult Chuck E. Cheese or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It kind of is, actually. And you know what? I mean, speaking of adult, like, the restaurant is very upscale bar food. The chef, Christopher Walker, he worked for this place called Savinor's. And now he's over here and he's just creating, like, some really high-end food. So, like, think, like, lamb sliders or upscale. Philly cheesesteaks and like all the cocktails are named after famous people. Do you know a name of a cocktail? Is there one you can give us? Yeah. Maybe you want to try the Outcast. I want to know what's in that. What is in that? Okay. (laughs) Or maybe the Jackie O. Okay. Or maybe even the Pete Davidson. I was like, what? I mean, (laughs) Pete Davidson is everywhere. Why is he everywhere? (laughs) Do I want to drink a Pete Davidson? I don't know. (laughs) Mm, mm, You might. You might. (laughs) The greatest thing about PKL Boston is it is open to everyone of all ages. And the one thing that they warn is it's probably not very family friendly, on Friday or Saturday nights after 10 p.m. But I've seen photos of little kids playing pickleball, teenagers, adults, you name it. And yeah, it's definitely a place where you can certainly meet people and hang out and get a workout in. Mm, I like it. So that's A4K, PKL, and Tavern of Tales. So that's three places to get drinks and play games and just have an all-around good time. But you are the assistant director of City Space, as yes. uh, many people who listen to this show know. <laughs> What's going on there? I think there's one event in particular <laughs> that I'm, I'm really excited about. But I'm, I'm going to let you take it. <laughs> I'll definitely get to that one. But first, I want to say music is coming back to City Space in 2023. And we are really excited about it. So we have been doing this Sound On concert series, which is inspired by a series that is produced by our arts and culture team at WBUR. And this year, mm-hmm. for the first half of 2023, we're taking it global. And we're actually featuring artists who are all instrumental. Think classical, think jazz. We're doing everything from small string ensembles to a large orchestra. It's going to be kind of epic. We're going to do a ton of concerts. You're going to meet amazing, amazing musicians. And I just need you to go to WBUR.org slash events to check out everything we've got. Plus, I think you were referring to an event that we have with you, Daryl, on January 25th, is it? Yes. Wednesday, January 25th. I'll be talking with Dar Adams and Sleeman about their book, Instead We Became Evil. Yeah. Exactly. And Sleeman is a Danish rapper, for those of you who don't know. And this book really sort of charts, I mean, not just his journey through music, but his journey through life. Mm -hmm. It's definitely something that you're going to want to hear about. And he's going to join us virtually. And I think we're going to play some vibes up in there. We're going to play some music. So get your tickets. All right, Candice. Until next time. See ya. That's WBUR Assistant Director for City Space, Candace Springer. And that's our show for today. Make sure to hit us up on Instagram or Twitter at WBUR The Common or send us an email at the common at WBUR.org. We would love to hear from you. And The Common is produced by Franny Monahan and Caitlin Harrop. It's mixed by Emily Jankowski, Matt Reed, and Paul Vikas. And it's edited by Ben Brock Johnson. And from the newsroom of WBUR, I'm your host, Daryl C. Murphy. I'll talk to you soon. (laughs) 